So hi, how are you guys? I hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to be learning about how to use Bluetooth wireless data exchange. Okay, so what is Bluetooth? So basically, Bluetooth is a wireless technology that uses a radio frequency to share data over a short distance, eliminating the need for wires. Bluetooth already comes in your phone, your tablet, your computer, and all you need to do is turn it on. So what can you do with Bluetooth? So with Bluetooth, you can connect to speakers and wireless headphones, and that way you can listen to music, watch a show, anything that has um, a sound. You can connect music to your car, wireless instant file sharing and even share pictures and other types of files so as any other technology there's always a disadvantage disadvantage and advantages so the bad part of this is well the battery of your device will drain and to prevent this you can turn it off when you are not using it there's poor security that's why you should turn it off when you're not using it and slow data and only appropriate for sending files in smaller batches. So not really big files. So right here, there's a little chart that talks about the advantages. For example, Bluetooth is a wireless technology. Bluetooth is affordable. Well, it's free and it's downloaded on your phone and Bluetooth can share files wirelessly. Disadvantages, like I stated, it's slower than other wireless technology. Um, a Bluetooth device is expensive and Bluetooth can't share large files. Is Bluetooth secure? So, like I stated, any technology is not always 100% secure. You could accidentally send people information via Bluetooth that you didn't intend to. And there's also the possibility of eavesdropping when you are using devices such as wireless headsets. And the best way to keep yourself secure is to turn off Bluetooth when you are not making use of it and always double check you are connecting to the correct device. Like for example, um, when you're using a speaker, if you don't like make sure that you connect to your speaker, you might accidentally connect to another people's speaker and that could cause a problem or you can disrupt them or they can disrupt you and that's why you need to make sure that you're correcting you're connecting to the correct device so how to enable bluetooth on your ipad or your iphone so the first thing you're going to do is go to settings and it's going to appear like this and select Bluetooth from the menu, and then simply click this button right here and turn it on, and that's it. That's how you turn it on, okay? And how to do that on an Android. So the same thing, just go to settings, and then from here, you will select Bluetooth and turn it on by pressing this little circle right here, and yeah, we're done. So. Now, how to connect devices via Bluetooth? Okay, so to connect, this is an example on an Apple device. So you go to your settings and select Bluetooth from the menu. So when your Bluetooth is turned on, under devices, you're going to see all the list of um, like speakers or computers or any devices that are on Bluetooth and you should see the list of connectable devices and simply tap on the one that you want to connect to. And then it should let you know if, if it's connected and if it's not connected, you could always try again. Or if it's not working, you could turn it off the Bluetooth and then turn it back on and it might be a little glitch. We can always try it. Okay, now this is an example on an Android device. So 
open Bluetooth setting again, and then you may and uh, you may either see available devices in the main menu, or you may have to click pair new device first. So not every device is going to be available right away. So you're right here on the Bluetooth, right? And then if your speaker or headset does not come out, go to pair new device. And then that way, um, Bluetooth is gonna be connected to your device. And then while well, you click on it, and yeah. So yeah, that's how you connect to it. Okay, so now how to transfer files via Bluetooth. So airdrop between Apple devices. To share files via Bluetooth between Apple devices, you can simply use the airdrop feature. If Bluetooth is turned on on both devices, you can simply click on a Mac or tap this little feature on the phone or tablet and select AirDrop. Your device should, should locate other nearby Apple devices and you can select one to share with. And here's another past webinar, but you can always go back to it when you get this recording sent. Okay, so thank you all for listening. And if you'd like to learn this lesson with a cyber seniors mentor, please go to this website or call this number to register for a one-on-one -on -one phone session. And we also host two weekly tech drop-in sessions from 2 to 3 p.m. on Easter time on Thursdays. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.